On Strike It Lucky tonight, a jackpot of £3,000. A new experience in sleeping. Drift off to dreamland on a waterbed. Or something for the ladies, get to know each other in the friendly ambiance of a beauty salon. Or marvel to the timeless pastimes of the eternal city of Rome. All these prizes waiting to be won tonight on Strike It Lucky. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your host, Michael Barrymore. Hello. Nice to meet you. Janice? Yes, that's right. And Marion. Marion. How do you doing? Whereabouts are you from? Near Bridport in Dorset. Bridport in Dorset. Ah, <laughs> there's lovely. You're a local girl, are you? From Yes. Local. And you, Marion? Yeah, I come from Bridport in Dorset too. In Dorset as well. Yeah, yes. yeah. And you married, you girls? Yes, yes. And how long have you been together? <laughs> <laughs> They're at home, are they? What, what do they do? They work on farms. They're farmers, are they? Yeah. Oh, I see. And what do they farm? The farm dairy, beef and arable. My husband does. Your husband? What's your husband dairy from? Dairy and beef. How many cows you got? Well, my father's got 50, about 50 to 60. Oh, your cows. father's got 50? Yes. Oh, he's a farmer as yes. well, is yes. he? Yes. He's yes. got 50. What about your father? Same as us. <laughs> oh, your sisters? sisters. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you never asked. You never asked. No, you've got to say that. You've got to say it. Go on, say it again. What? We're sisters. What you just said? You never asked. You never asked. That's lovely. <laughs> you said, well, you never asked. <laughs> so you make me laugh, you coming out with things. <laughs> so that's lovely. Now we know about that. We'll get on meeting other people. Thanks nice to meet you, Janice. Nice to meet you, Marion. All the best. Relax and enjoy yourself. Hi, Sandra. Nice to meet you. And Trevor. Now, where about you from first? Works up near Nottingham. Works up, are you? What's Ru this? That's Russ. Russ. That's Russ. Why, why Russ? Oh, sorry. Sorry, Russ. Does it say Russ on the bottom? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you only buy things if they've got, got it written at the bottom? Yeah. Oh, I see. Um, and what do you do for a living? <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Telephonist receptionist. Telephonist and a receptionist. Yes. Are you? I see. And, and Trevor? And I work in a distribution warehouse. Distribution warehouse. And where did you meet? I mean, did you chat him up, Sandra? Well, I asked him if he'd come and fit a plug onto my record player at home. Come and fit a plug onto your record player, yes. Well, he's handy with a screwdriver. He's handy with a screwdriver. <laughs> and and we took well, how, how would you know he's handy with a screwdriver if, if that you... I mean, you never met him, you just chatted him up. I talked to his sister. <laughs> you talked to his sister? You asked him around, I yeah. see. Yeah. Best, let's welcome him. Let's give him a nice <laughs> Hi, Joe. Hello, nice to meet you, and Walter Hi, as well. Michael. Ah, the van's arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Are they supporting you tonight? Uh, I think so. I think so. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> now look, you know who this is? Yeah, Russ. that's Russ. Yes. Has he got it on the bottom? Yeah. This hasn't got anything on the bottom. It's got nothing on the no. bottom. Well, it looks like Zippy. It, it is. is. It's Zippy. Hello, oh, Joe. Oh, there we are, Zippy. And it's your mascot. Oh, yeah. what the hell's all this stuff? You know? Well, it's to make him Shut stand up. up. Uh, to you danger. See, he uh, really goes like this and he talks. Oh, well, he's not saying Hi, anything Michael. at the moment. Is Hello, it? Michael. <laughs> Michael. I love you, Michael. That's her talking. And Zippy. Are you a Johnny? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Are you all right, Walter? Why are you, man? I love you, Michael. Why are you good? <laughs> Zippy doesn't talk like that. He does in Geordie Land. He, he, he might do in Geordie Land, but you're not in. You're, what the hell? That's to take the prizes, what, That's to take the prizes. <laughs> the ten shot. Oh, that's handy, isn't it? Look, I'm what else have we got in here? <laughs> Look, I don't want. Stop it, Zippy. I want. That's it. See what else is in here. Look. Look at that. Nothing at the end. No. Yeah. Oh, no. Never mind. What well, that? Well, he can do the show tonight, can't he? Is Absolutely. He? I can't yeah. get me hand in there. He's only little. Well, he's only got a little belly. He's only got a little belly. <laughs> Thank God I'm not dating him. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, if you, can, I, you. Can, I, can I borrow this? Yes, yeah. I'll yes. just tidy up here. Yes. Well, that's lovely. Yes. Well, lovely, lovely to meet you, Joan. Yeah. <laughs> this Zippy's doing tonight's show, everybody. Aren't you, Zippy? 
<laughs> Sippy? You're doing tonight's show? Tell us, Jordan, Sippy. Talk to me, Zippy. You do the voice. Yes, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so. He's doing to Yes, I think tonight's show, Michael. Are you really, Zippy? I'm a clever boy, Zippy. <laughs> no, Michael. No, Michael. No, I'm a clever boy, Zippy. I'm a clever boy, Michael. What do you mean, Michael? I'm a clever boy, Michael. No, you're a girl. <laughs> you're a girl. <laughs> You're, that's a boy. I'm keeping them right. Ah, OK, Walter. There you go. Hiya, everybody. <laughs> Answer him. Hello. Answer him. He's saying hiya, everybody. He's saying oh, hiya, hi everybody. Hiya, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lord, man. He's saying hiya, wa hiya. What love edition on a little fishy when the boat comes in. Dance to your daddy, sing <laughs> to your mummy. Dance to your daddy <laughs> when the boat comes <laughs> in. Oh, oh, oh. Give a nice old call to you. OK, now, let's play the game. Now, you tossed the coin earlier on to decide who's going first, and the idea of the game is to get from one side to the other. So, if the partners would like to go to their places, we can start. There, Ted, here we go. Ah. Zippy's round this. <laughs> I've got him. I found Zippy. There we are. All right, everybody in their places? Sorry about that, Zippy. Right. Now, to move across your artist, you have to answer questions from various categories. I'll give you a choice of two, three or four questions for two, three or four moves. You give me an incorrect answer. That's right, yes. You give me an incorrect answer, your opponent automatically gets the opportunity to answer remaining questions and take your moves. Everybody understand that? Right. Now... <laughs> <laughs> the first category is... Two, three, or four? Two. Two. Famous Scots. Which of these Scots is a master on the golf course? Sandy Lyle. And which of these Scots is a well-known actor? Tom Conti. Tom Conti's right. Two moves yours or off. There we are. OK. <laughs> now, uh, Janice, the first screen we give you absolutely free. The first screen absolutely free. <laughs> so, just move in here. Now, on each of the moves, you could win a prize. It looks simple, but we've got to avoid the hot spots. So, what are the hot spot not? The OK, Janice, strike the screen. Let's see what you've won. A double bed. <laughs> Ooh. Move on. on. Bank that or is it nothing on the screen? You're moving on? OK, over you come. That's it. Strike the screen. £150 and the double there. That's yours. OK. Right. We go on to the next category, which is how many? How many for you, Trevor? Two, three uh, or four? Two, please. Two. For your first move, how many furlongs in a mile? How many? Ten. Eh? Eight. How many hundredweights in a tonne? Twenty. Twenty. Two moves yours. Here we go. All right. <laughs> All right. Now, there we are. OK, Walter. I'll just, just leave him there, so yeah. just as you come across. That's yeah, it. Sorry. OK, Zip, make yourself at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Want to go to bed now? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, so just that. So look. <laughs> <laughs> just keep your eye on the audience, OK? All right, Sandra. Yeah. First screen free. Help you come, love. That's it. There you go. Strike the screen. <laughs> Holiday in Madrid. Nice. Yeah. Bank it. Yeah. You want to bank it? OK, though you've got the holiday in Madrid, that's yours, whatever happens. All right. <laughs> All right, we go on to the next category, which is for you now, Joan, two, three or four, Prime Ministers. Two, three uh, or four. Three, please. Three, for your first move. Who was Prime Minister at these notable events? At the outbreak of the Second World War in 1939. Chamberlain. And for your second move, at, at the end of the First World War in 1918. At the end of the First World War in 1918. Lloyd George. And for your third move, at the Suez Crisis in 1956. Anthony Eden. Anthony Eden, three moves yours. All right, everybody's up. <laughs> OK, Walter. 
Right. There you are. There's your lucky mascot. And there's your screen. A MIDI hi-fi system. That's a nice prize. MIDI hi-fi system. You want to bank it or risk there's nothing on the next screen? Oh, you want to go on? You're going on? OK. Yeah. Come along, Zip. Oh! oh naughty Zippy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we go on to the next category, which is for you, Marion, which is sports. Two, three, or four? Two, three. Two. Two. For your first move, which game was originally played with, bro with broken off arrowheads? Bandy. Bandy is wrong, I'm afraid. So, a chance for you, Trevor. Which game was originally played with broken off arrowheads? Uh, Shinty. Shinty is wrong. And for you, chance. Now, Joan, which game was originally played with broken off arrowheads? Would it be darts? It would be darts, is right. And for the second move, which game resembles bowls played on ice with players using brooms? Curling. Curling is right. Two moves are yours. OK. <laughs> what are you doing, Walter? Huh? No, 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 no. He's trying to have a sleep. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, I see. Leaps. He was there. Hey, he, he was there. Yes, I'm trying to bring him across. Oh, I see. Right, there we are. Tumble dryer. Now, do you want to bank that or is there something on the next screen? What do you want to do? Bank it. What? You going bank on? It. Bank it. Bank it. Bank it. Bank it. <laughs> right, we carry on to the next. Oh! <laughs> Remove that step. Oof, never mind. Right, the next category, which is for you, Marion, which is F words. F words. Two, three, or four. <laughs> three. Three. For your first move, this person puts shoes on horses. Barrier. For your second move, a story not based on fact. Fable. For your third move, a bundle of sticks. Facet. Facet is wrong, I'm afraid. A bundle of sticks, Trevor. Facilitate. Facilitate is wrong. For you, Joan, a bundle of sticks. A faggot. A faggot, is that a guess? Yeah. That's what a bundle of sticks are. You're right, you take the move. <laughs> OK. Thank you, Walter. Very nice of you to bring Zippy over. There we are. Straight to the screen. A hundred pound. You want to bank it or is there nothing on the next screen? Bank it. You're banking it? <laughs> All right. They're, they're going over a bit by a bit. We come on to the next category. Back with you, Marion, and it's British cities. Two, three or four? Two. Two. For your first move, which city is known as the city of dreaming spires? Which city is known as the city of dreaming spires? Oxford. For your second move, in which of these is the Clifton Suspension Bridge? Bristol. Bristol, two moves are yours. All right. Here we go. All right, Janice. Okay? Yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> all right, yeah. <laughs> Good. <Go on, then. laughs> Never mind, that's that one out of the way. We come on to the next category for you, Trevor, which is Royal Residences. Two, three, or four? Two, please. Two. For your first move, which of these is the, is the home of the Princess Royal? Gatcom Park. And for your second move, what is the name of the Queen's Norfolk home? Sandringham. Sandringham's right. Two moves. <laughs> two. two moves are yours, OK? <laughs> That's right. All right, Sandra. OK, strike the screen. A hundred pound. You want to bank that or is there something on the next screen? Carry on. Carrying on? All right, Sandra, strike the screen. A toaster and a hundred pound. That's yours, whatever happens. All right, we go on to the next category, which is albums. For you, Joan, two, three or four albums. Um, I'm very dubious. Very dubious, are you? How many would you like, then? Two. Two. Please. All right. Which albums... Uh, no, sorry. With which albums are the following artists associated? Paul Simon. Take a I guess if you're not sure. Guess. No jacket required. <laughs> no, that's not Paul Simon. <laughs> Marriott Anne. True Blue. True Blue is not right, Trevor. Graceland. Graceland is right. Phil Collins. Um. What album? I must have an answer, Trevor. Take a guess if you're not sure. No jacket required. No jacket required. Right, two are yours. OK. <laughs> All right, Sandra. Yeah. There you go. Strike the screen. Oh, never mind. Animal skins is the next one for you, Joan. Animal skins. Two, three or four? Uh, three, please. Three. For your first move, which of these animals has stripes? Uh, the tiger. And which of these animals has spots? The ocelot. And which of these animals has feathers? The mongoose. The mongoose. The mongoose is wrong, I'm afraid. Which of these animals has feathers? Pangolin. Pangolin is wrong. 
Oriel. Oriel is right. The three moves are yours. Well done. <laughs> OK. All right. OK, Sandra, strike the screen. Here we go. £75. You want to bank it or risk there's nothing on the Carry next on. screen? You're going oh. over? All right, there you go. Strike the screen. <laughs> A day of beauty and £75. Now, do you want to bank that or risk there's nothing <laughs> on the next screen? <laughs> what do you want to do? I've had one face lift. I'll Carry go You've on. had one face lift. All right, you could have, you could have two if you want. Oh, you lose the two prizes. We go on to the next category, which is James Bond. Jones, James Bond. How are you on, James Bond? I'll have three, please. You'll have three. That's what he said. Right. <laughs> which actor portrayed Bond in these films? The Living Daylights. Uh, Sean Connery. Is wrong, I'm afraid. So, Marianne, The Living Daylights. Timothy Dalton. You only live twice. Roger Moore. Is wrong, I'm afraid. You only live twice. Sean Connery. On Her Majesty's Secret Service. George Lazenby. George Lazenby's right, that's yours, OK. <laughs> All right, OK, Sandra, strap the screen. A video recorder. Sandra and Trevor on the main Strike It Lucky question. There's a video recorder there. Do you want to bank it? If you do, you keep it, whatever happens. Or you're going to answer the question and go on to tonight's final. If I you get it right. Answer yeah? the question. Answer the question, OK. All right. I'm going to ask you this question, and you can confer as loud as you like, then I'll ask you the question again, and I must have an answer. OK? Good luck. This mountainous federal state with the capital of Innsbruck in West Austria strikes it lucky with tourists. What is the area called? Austrian Tyrol. Austrian Tyrol. Austrian Tyrol. The Tyrol I've got down there, so it must be absolutely right. You're going on tonight's final list of the night's Well done, Simon. Thank you, both. Janice, you might like come back down again. Ball's over, you might like go back to you up. There we are. OK, Janice, well done. There we are. OK, everybody's back in their places. Let's tell you what you won. OK, Joan and Walter, you're taking away with you tonight a tumble dryer and £100. Thank you. Well, and nice. thanks for all the fun and thanks yeah. for bringing Zippy along. Yeah. Thank you. All the boys he's enjoyed it. Up. He's enjoyed <laughs> it, I'm sure. But he's got nothing at all, but never mind. Yeah. OK, and Mary and Janice, you're taking with you a toaster, a video recorder, a holiday in Madrid. Oh, very mm -hmm. nice. <laughs> You would do, but it's the wrong one, because it's yours. <laughs> you said very nice, thank you very much. You so Leave it in, I'll carry on. <laughs> but uh, we're going to take away from you that holiday in Madrid, <laughs> the toaster, the video recorder, and guess what we're going to give you instead? <gasps> You're going to have a double bed and £150. Oh, That's better than a holiday yes. in Madrid. Yes. <laughs> And also, Sandra and Trevor, you're taking with you, because I just got it back off them, <laughs> a holiday in Madrid, a toaster, a video recorder, a £100. Each and every one of you will take away with you tonight a memento of the game, so you can play at home with the family. And you're going on to tonight's final. They're all being great tonight. Let's give them a nice round of applause. Well done, Sandra. You can come through with me, Trevor. Join me over here. All right, this is how we played the end game. You played the game as before, but this time you played the game horizontally and vertically. I'm going to ask you which move you want to make. You shout out top, middle or bottom. If you look at the screen there now, you can see we've got ten arrows, ten questions and ten hotspots. If a question comes up, it'll be true or false. false or false. <laughs> uh, we've got some German viewers. I thought I'd put a foos on them. Uh, it'll be true or false. You give me an incorrect answer, it becomes a hotspot. For a correct answer, you gain another move. If you go for our top money tonight of £3,000, you cannot hit any more than two hotspots. For £2,000, no more than three hotspots. And for £1,000, no more than four hotspots. Like all the other games, if you fail to get right the way across and you go for £3,000, we'll give you £300 for every move you make that's successful, £200 for £2,000 and £100 for £1,000. Before you make your mind up, the computer will now jumble them all up. <laughs> There we are, they've gone. What do you want to do? Your prizes are safe. 1,000, 2,000 or 3,000 pounds. So what am I going to do? Here we go. 3,000. You're going for three as well. Let's give a nice round of applause. Here comes Sandra. You'd like to stand here. That's right. You can just bring it behind Sandra a little bit there, Trevor. Just, just a tiny fraction. That's it. So we can balance it up. OK. Top, middle or bottom for 300 pounds. Where do you want to go? Top, top middle oh. or bottom? Top. The top one for 300? A question. All right. True or false? The mad monk Rasputin was born in China. True or false? false. Sorry? False. false. False is right. It was Russia, 300 pounds. We're off. OK, just stand there, Simon and Trevor. Top, middle or bottom for 600 pounds. Top, middle or bottom. Yeah. Where are you going to go? Bottom. The bottom one for 600. 
Ooh, that's not very good. OK, well, that's one of your lives gone. They're going for £600, top, middle or bottom? Uh, middle, please. The middle one for 600 Oh, it's another question. OK. The, in the initials UFO stand for Unidentified Flying Object. True or false? True. True is right. £600. We're on the way. Here we go. Just there. Just come along in there, Sandra. That's lovely. OK, top, middle or bottom for £900. Top, middle or bottom. Where do you want to go? Bottom. bottom. The bottom one for 900 Oh, a hell of a lot of questions, wasn't it? All right. One of the first panel games to popularise archaeology was entitled Animal, Vegetable or ga Gaseous? <laughs> True or false? False. False. Animal, Vegetable or Mineral Mineral. is right. That's it. £900. <laughs> All right. Well done. OK, for £1,200. Top, middle or bottom? £1,200. Look at that. Look at The top yeah. one for £1,200. Yes, here we go. We're on our way. Over we go. Now you've only used one hotspot, you're doing very well. For £1,500, top, middle or bottom? Top, middle or bottom? Middle. Where are you going to go? Middle. middle. The middle one, for 1500 please. Oof. Oh, I don't believe them. Out of quest. Well, at least it's not a hotspot. All right, here we go. Apart from Eamon Andrews, Penelope Keith and Angela Rippon are the only people to have hosted What's My Line? True or false? It's false, your answer? False. You don't know who the other one is. You're right, it's David Jacobs also did it. Yeah. That's £1,500. <laughs> OK. Here we go. We're doing really well. We've got four screens to go. You've got one life spare. OK, this is for £1,800. Top, middle or bottom? £1,800. <laughs> top, middle or bottom? Top. The top one for £1,800. Come on. Yes! <laughs> Here we go. All right, there's three screens left. You've got one line left. That's for £2,100. The top one, the middle one or the bottom? Top, middle or bottom? £2,100. Bottom. Bottom. The bottom, uh, bottom £2,100. Oh. All right, you're still on £1,800. You've got no lives left. This one now is for £2,100. Top, middle or bottom? The top one, the middle one or the bottom? Top, middle, or bottom? Middle. The middle one? Come on, no hotspots. Oh, never mind. Bad luck. Let's give a nice round of applause. Over you come, Trevor and Sandra. Well done. You did very well indeed to stand here. Let's have a look at the screens. Let's see where they all were. Oh, you need to go across the top there for those last ones there. Well, never mind. You've done very well indeed. You enjoyed being with us, Sandra? Yes, thank you. Had a lovely evening. And you, Trevor, let's tell you what you. you're going to take away tonight. You've got a, uh, a toaster, a video recorder, a holiday in Madrid, and the money you won uh, earlier on, we put that, the money you won just there, £1,900. So not a bad night's work. <laughs> Have a lovely time. Lovely to see you. All the best. That's all we've got time for. Till we'll see you at the same time next week. Good night. God bless you. Right. Good night. Have a good night. Category is the letter C. New and up next, Pip Schofield tells his conquering competitors to keep their smeary hands off his cube. Then at six, Bradley Walsh readies his contestants to steal themselves against the Medusa-like stairs of those chasers. See for yourself on Challenge.